Lesson 6.8, Three-Digit Subtraction, Regroup Hundreds. In subtraction, we regroup 100 as 10 tens when there are not enough tens to subtract from. Here, we have six ones and we want to take one away. We have enough. But here we have two tens and we want to take away seven tens. We don't have enough, so we would need to regroup and change 100 into 10 tens. And remember that this is the minuend, this is the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. We have 326 and we want to subtract 171. We can draw a picture of the minuend, three hundreds, two tens, six ones. We want to take away 171. We have six ones and we want to take away one one. We have enough. We can do that. Six ones take away one one, leaves five ones. Now we have two tens, but we want to take seven away. And we can't because we don't have enough. We're going to take a 100 and we're going to move it to the tens place as 10 tens. We're going to take a 100, so we don't have 300 anymore. We have 200. We're going to give it to the tens place as 10 tens, so we don't have two tens anymore. We have 12 tens. We have 12 tens. Now we can take seven away. We have five, six, seven. We can take seven away. That's going to leave one, two, three, four, five tens. Twelve tens take away seven tens is five tens. Now we need to take away one hundred. We have two left. We can cross one off. That leaves 100, 2 hundreds minus 100 is 100. The difference is 155. We need to model, draw, and solve. We have 638 minus 293. The first thing we do is we draw the number of the minuend. Six hundreds, three tens, eight ones. And we cross out the number of the subtrahend. We need to cross out three. We can do that. There's eight there. We could cross three of them out. That leaves five ones. We have three tens. We need to take nine of them away. And we can't do that because we don't have enough tens. So we can go to the hundreds place and change the 600 into a 500. We're going to change this hundred and we're going to move it to the tens place as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. So now instead of three tens, we have thirteen tens. Now we can take nine away. We can take all of these away. That's nine. And that leaves one, two, three, four tens. Thirteen tens minus nine tens leaves four tens. Now we need to take away two hundreds. We can take away one, two, and that leaves three hundreds. Five hundred minus two hundred is three hundred. Our difference is three hundred forty-five. Here we have five hundred sixteen as our minuend and four hundred sixty-two as our subtrahend. We start by drawing the minuend five hundreds, one ten, six ones. We subtract and regroup if needed. We have six ones and we need to take two ones away. We can do that. We have enough. That leaves four ones. We have one ten and we need to take six away, but we don't have enough. So we're going to take this hundred, cross it out. We're going to move it to the tens place as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. Now we can take six away. We can take away this one and these five. That will make six that we're taking away. And that means we have one, two, three, four, five tens left. What we did was we took away this hundred. Then we had four hundred. We gave 10 tens to the tens place, so instead of one ten, we had 11 tens. We did 11 tens minus six tens, which is five tens. 
Now we need to take four hundreds away. Well, all we have is four hundreds. If we take them away, we will have no hundreds. The difference is 54. Remember, we only regroup if we need to. If we're subtracting and we have 568 minus 134, we don't need to regroup. We have 8, we take 4 away, that's 4. We have 6, we take 3 away, that's 3. We have 5, we take 1 away, that's 4. We didn't need to regroup at all. But in this one, we can do 8 minus 3, which is 5, but when we have 6 tens and want to take 9 tens away, we don't have enough, so we need to regroup. So in this one, we needed to regroup. In this one, we didn't. We only regroup if we need to, if there aren't enough in the minuend. Let's try it again with another example. We have 319 and we need to take away 284. We start with the ones place. We have nine ones and we need to take away four ones. We can do that. We have enough. We can take away these four. Nine minus four is equal to five. We have five here. Now we have one ten and we need to take eight tens away. So we're going to take this hundred we're going to move it to the tens place as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tens. We take 8 away. 5, 6, 7, 8. We take away these. We cross them off. We took 100. So instead of 300s, we now have 200s. We gave it to the tens place as 10 tens, so instead of 1 ten, we now have 11 tens. We took 8 away, that leaves 1, 2, 3. We need to take 2 hundreds away, that leaves no hundreds. Our difference is 35. Let's finish by doing some higher order thinking skills. It says Bob has a red bag and a blue bag of marbles. There are 128 marbles in the red bag. He has 285 marbles in all. Which bag contains more marbles? Well, it's hard to tell which one contains more marbles when we don't know how many are in the blue bag. So, we are comparing the red bag marbles to the blue bag marbles, and we can find how many are in the blue bag. We can subtract and do the 285 marbles in all minus the number in the red bag and that'll tell us how many are in the blue bag. When we look at the ones place, we have five ones and we need to take away eight ones. We don't have enough to do that, so we need to regroup from the tens place. So instead of eight tens, we now have seven tens. We give it to the ones place as ten ones. Instead of five ones, we have 15 ones. 15 minus 8 is 7. Now we have 7 tens and we need to take 2 tens away. That's 5 tens. And we have 2 hundreds. We need to take away 100. That's 100. That means the blue bag must have 157 marbles. To compare them, we need to write a less than or greater than or equal to sign in that circle. When we look at the numbers, they both have a 100, but when we look at the tens place, this one has more tens. There's five tens, there's only two tens. So 157 is the greater number. We write 128 is less than 157. And the big open side goes towards the greater number, the little pointy side goes towards the lesser number. And we know the blue bag has more, it has 157 marbles. And remember to keep your place values straight, we could turn a sheet of lined paper sideways and use it for our columns for hundreds, tens, and ones. And also remember, you can print the tables and charts from the Joanne School Facebook page photo section. I have these hundreds, tens, ones headers. I even have frames to do addition and subtraction in there. Our next lesson, 6.9, we're going to do subtraction with regrouping of hundreds and tens. I hope you'll join me. I hope you have a great day. 
Keep doing your best. Bye.